So since we're selling the house, I decided that I should do a house tour video before I leave. The house is spotless. It's the cleanest it's ever been. And I figured it'd just be a good time to shoot a video like this. It's pretty much gonna be a lame version of MTV Cribs for the most part. Um, I'm just gonna walk you through my house and just show you how I live and what my house looks like. I don't know if this is gonna be something that somebody wants to watch, but if you're interested in seeing what a software developer's house looks like and you know how I live, check out this video. So when you first walk in, you've got the kitchen on the left here. And you know, we've got the big country sink and the stainless steel appliances. Got the uh, Samsung stove top with the big stove hood there to suck everything out and uh, not set off the fire alarms, although I still set off the fire alarms most of the time. We got the breakfast nook area here. When we first got this house, this area was not finished and there was like foam padding on the top of the counters here. And we just pretty much just did some Ikea countertops there so we can sit and have a cool little area here. Got my wife's ukuleles and some decorations that we put out on the shelf. Uh, and that's got like a really nice view of the outside there, which is probably going to be kind of hard to see in the video. Then we have our dining room here where some of my first videos you might recognize those lights that are there um, that were in the background of some of my early videos when I was really not shooting in the office and just kind of find different areas to shoot from I didn't even have an office at that point I was in the uh, little cubby hole and <laughs> like my first couple videos until I moved into the office so here's a little bit more of the kitchen we got more Samsung smart appliances this all came with the house i didn't buy any of this stuff it's a oven and a microwave combination there um just a pretty cool little fridge here got some some cool little compartments here so if i press that button it opens up this compartment where we put all of our hot sauce and ranch and whatnot and then if i don't press that button and i just pull it open then that compartment's shut here and we can kind of get to it from there and then got the other stuff there really really nice fridge don't mind all the food that we have there it's what we had to put out uh after we cleaned out the fridge and then um this is a pretty cool tray here that kind of climate controls based off of what whatever you want it to store and you can just set those there and it'll put that temperature to store like cheese and wine and dairy and poultry and whatnot so it's it's pretty neat then uh you know a big roll out freezer portion there there was a lot of cabinet room in this in this house um it's a pretty decent sized kitchen with an open floor plan and we really liked that about this house when we when we first bought it i don't know how bright those windows are going to be in this video when i edit it but hopefully it's not too bright and you can still see everything here we got a couple of kenmore elite washer and dryers that also came with the house when we first bought it and we have like a faux basement area that's an addition i don't know when this was added onto the house but it's a definitely a cool room we got a really big couch over here that my wife thinks are super comfortable but i honestly can't get comfortable in them uh i don't know why it's too soft i like a hard couch then we got our TV there. I forget if that's a 65, I think that's a 65 inch. I don't know if I went 70 or not on that, but I got that. We hardly ever watch it, the kids watch it. Um, but that's where I used to video game and chill and whatnot. If you look over here, we've got the original spot where I first recorded my very first videos uh, sitting right there in that closet I had a desk with the uh, Albert Einstein picture in the back right now I think it's my uh, little girl's Barbie dollhouse uh, and this is the uh, the office that I redid if this looks familiar it's the uh, wood planks that were behind a lot of my first early videos I painted them and you know Einstein used to hang right there and we kind of turned this into an extra room it was a uh, it was originally just kind of like the well room area so we, we finished it a little bit and got that done, which is cool. We also had these floors installed here um, on this side of the house because this used to be carpet in this room and concrete in my old office. But then I moved offices and went into uh, 
my current office there. There's my smoker that my wife got me for Christmas. Um, pretty sweet smoker. I, I'll show you the backyard for a moment. Had to tweak the settings on the camera so it doesn't get super hard to see here. But yeah, this is backyard. We're on like a half acre or almost a half acre. And then got the trampoline that we got for Christmas and whatnot. Old wood shed back there. And uh, there's my sweet smoker that my wife got me. That's a entrance into the uh, old office there. This is like the back of the house. Then if we go back up this way, I'll show you the bedrooms and whatnot from the kitchen area here. So there's the kitchen again. I'm gonna see if I could turn the settings down when I get back to the windows so you can kind of see what that looks like. We got one bathroom here. I passed one of the, the half bathrooms. This is a familiar looking room for you. This is where I got my office set up right now. And uh, you know, there's barely anything left in here except for the computer and the monitor and the desk. I got a couple things in that closet, but for the most part, I'm clearing this place out. We got one bathroom there. This was the kids' bathroom. Uh, nothing much to see there, toilet and shower. No. Again, we didn't do much to this house. This was a, uh, this was pretty much just how we how we bought it. Really, there wasn't much. I did a little bit of yard work when we first got it, um, but here's the kids' room. The yard used to be just gravel and a big gravel driveway, and I did all the grass seed and we had it tilled and did a bunch of stuff. But my kids sleep in the same room. That's kind of another reason why we wanted to sell the house because they're going to need their own room soon and this house um isn't going to really accommodate us with everything we need let me see if i can set this a little bit so you can see kind of out the windows without getting it too uh too bright there with the aperture and the uh, iso see if i can tone that down a little bit and you can see the bay windows we got really nice windows that overlooks a pasture and our neighbor back there has a lake that we can kind of see a little bit then we have the window in that breakfast nook when we come around this side. And then we have our little living room area that I showed a little earlier. Nothing too fancy there. Just uh, nobody ever sits here really. It's just more for when people like come to the house, which that never happens anymore because of COVID. And, uh, and a little fake fireplace over there. And then we have our master bedroom here which is nothing too fancy. It's definitely a smaller master. It, uh, we have a queen size bed in here, you know, another big, big window. One cool thing about our windows is how they open, which I thought this was really neat when we got this house was like you unlatch it there and then you got this and you just kind of turn it and then it's a big old window that opens up and that's, it's probably super bright and you can't see, let me, fix that up a little bit so yeah it like opens up all big like that basically we can open it the whole way if I wanted to so I, I always thought that was kind of cool uh, it's kind of honestly it's kind of stupid but I think I, I thought it was a cool little feature when we when we first looked at the house um, definitely the windows are real good at, at keeping sound out we have a road back here that's fairly busy and uh gets pretty noisy and then then again like i said my wife staged all of this and I, well she didn't stage she decorated all this is how our room looked i think in my resume video i had my desk like right here in this corner for a little while and that background might look familiar in some of my earlier videos so if you go this way in our master bath i'm gonna adjust that a little bit we have you know the uh the basic basic bitch uh, barnyard door there that is like the trendy thing in in uh, bathroom doors and bedroom doors these days uh, you know I, I, it's on a track and it's kind of a pain in the ass honestly when I have to use the bathroom my kids can slide this door open and I had to put like one of those uh, chains for the door to kind of lock it because there was no way to lock this door so they're always getting in here the dog will slide the door open no problem like a regular door with the lock um, would have just been so much so much better let me see if I can turn the lights on in here so you know the same granite countertop we have in the kitchen we have here in the bathroom also and uh, again it's super clean we got 
a nice walk-in shower with a little bench here. And uh, what my favorite part of the bath and the house is that huge shower head that we got and the extra shower head. So we got dual shower heads there. And that's pretty much it. I don't know. I don't know if this video is going to be too dark. I'm trying to trying to adjust it because the lighting is different all throughout the house and I'm not really good with this camera. And I'm trying to just do this quickly because I don't really have time to do a big production, but I wanted to give a house tour and let people kind of know what my house looked like and, you know, how I live uh, and as a, as a software developer, you know. That's my side of the bed. I sleep with one pillow. We were showing the house, so there's not a hundred other pillows and a weighted blanket on there because that's how my wife sleeps. I get by with just one single pillow and I'm nice and comfy. You know, we're pretty we're pretty modest. We don't have a lot of fancy smancy stuff. Some of our furniture was definitely a little bit on the more expensive side. I know that that table right there, it seats eight people. We have six chairs on it right now. That table was uh, pretty expensive by my means or by my standards. I I should say uh, I don't I don't like spending that much on on furniture unless it's for my home office. I don't know what else I can show around this house. I could show my garage. We have a two car garage that's detached, but all of our stuff is in there right now. I mean, all of it. You know what? I'll just show it just to show you how crazy full of stuff this garage is right now. And that's the garage right now. It, it's it's a little uh, little messy for sure. Um, we got we've got movers coming in tomorrow. Geez, yeah, movers are coming tomorrow, and we're packing up the truck, and I'm driving into the storage a couple hours away um, in the town that my brother-in-law lives in, which is where we're going to be renting uh, from him in the in like two or three months in the summertime. Uh, which is just going to be crazy. It's kind of, it's still kind of dawning on me of, you know, like everything that we're doing and how crazy all of this stuff really is. But right now it's fun and I'm too busy to get too uh, anxious about everything that's going on. So I'm just taking it one day at a time and, you know, we're going to be sitting pretty, making a decent amount of money from this house. So we're not, we're not in bad shape by any means. So I hope you got a good idea of what my house looked like though. Here's the other bathroom. I guess I can show you that real quick. Yeah, this small little bathroom with a little like old school vanity there. And that's that's pretty much it. I got I got nothing else to show you. Um, that's the whole house. I'm sure I missed something, but I'm not going to show you the water heater and, you know, crap that you don't really care about seeing like closets and stuff. Um, you know, this 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 oven's pretty cool. It's all, you know, got like microwave on the top and then over here it's got like a built-in air fryer so we can air fry stuff that's pretty cool that's pretty much it my life is not that cool and my house is very modest and basic honestly there's not a lot going on except for the kitchen that looks pretty neat and my office and maybe a couple other things oh i forgot the bathroom's got heated floors i should have mentioned the heated floors in the bathroom gonna leave that one out because that's pretty bougie all right i'm just gonna cut this video out now i think i got a meeting to get to and Hopefully you liked, you know, my episode of Cribs Software Developer Edition.